Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jubilee. Welcome to my life. This is my sister Ariel. And this hello. video, waiting the title. Excuse me, I interrupted your hello. Hello. Um, we are going to be doing old wives tales to predict what the baby's gender is. I already have kind of like a poll going on with my family and friends. And so far we got four for boy and five votes for girl. But these are, um, I got 13 written down in this little book, different wives tales, I mean, excuse me, wives, old wives tales about gender prediction, mm -hmm. and we're going to test out some. One of them being the ring test, which is the most common, I think, Yeah. or should I say the most fun. Other ones just being different symptoms and stuff. But yeah, let's just get started. My foundation makes my skin. That's nice. My foundation doesn't. Okay. What number one? Are you carrying high or low? So that one, then I think I'm carrying low. But here, let me show you guys what my stuff looks like. Yeah, get on your knees or something. Yeah, my knees. Pray. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay. My stomach looks like this. I really do think you're carrying lower because otherwise this would be more bulk, I think, if you're carrying high. Don't I do think. that. Really? This is the best part of pregnancy? The belly. Just kidding. The best so, part is having a baby. You can comment down what you think is if I'm high or low. My grandma doesn't think that it's too early to tell. But I think you can tell. From making this video, um, it's about four weeks from now. Really shows from this dress. I know, it's why I wore it. No, it's okay. Cute. Um, but from four weeks from now, then I'm going to find out what the baby really is. So you guys can subscribe and turn that bell on so that you can see every time I post. Be ready for that gender reveal video that I shall be posting in about four weeks. So excited. <laughs> Can't wait. But I think it's low. Ariel thinks it's low. Yeah, I think it's low. Low means boy, so we so got one point for boy, point. guys. Let's one. remember this. You better remember this because then I, 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 I'll keep a tally. All right, number two. Do you have acne? Girls will steal your beauty. Flawlessness is a boy. Now, you not to get up so. in your face, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of, I've never really had acne growing up or whatever, so like this is about as much acne as I pretty much get, so that is point for a girl. So now we got one girl, one boy. Can we wait till we get there? It's really weird to say. Can we talk that? So, yeah, one girl, one guy, guys. Three. If you're cold and icy, like if your body feels cold or and icy it's a boy hot and sweaty it's a girl now i've been feeling more cold partly because it's winter right now so like but even before it started snowing and getting like that like my toes are so cold all the time i always feel cold so that is another point for a boy two two boys two boys one girl point two bo two points for a boy not two boys <laughs> four is baby's heart rate okay so over 140 is a girl and under 140 is a boy and my baby's heart rate last time i went to the doctors was 145 so that is a point for the girl being over 140 so we got two points for girl two points for boy um number five if you crave sweets it's a girl salty or sour it's a boy now i have been craving more um salty things like chips and these sour lemon drop thingies are like the, the candies i've been eating and stuff like that not really sweet things actually i try to stay away from sweet things more nowadays like i will not eat a brownie so that's a point for a boy Three points for boy, two points for girl. Number six, if your age 
that you were when you conceived and the year of conception are both even or both odd, um, then it's a girl. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, it works. Very nice. <coughs> um, nobody has COVID. That was just, um, my, uh, I choked on my own spit. <laughs> If one is even and the other is odd, then it's a boy. Now, I'm 19 being pregnant. That's an odd number. And I conceived in 2020, which is an even number. So that's one odd, one even, which makes it... What was it again? One even and the other odd. It, that's a point for boys. Okay, so how many do we have? I think it's four boys, two girls. Right now. Is it? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because we've only done six. And I know for sure that it was only two points for a girl. All right, got it, all right. Perfect, all right. We got this down. Number seven, lots of morning sickness equals a girl and none to very little equals a boy. Now, if you guys watched my video of my um, first trimester update, weekly update video I had a lot of morning sickness especially during the beginning part of December which was horrible and I gotta take medicine to like stay not nauseous so that's definitely a point for the girl like be sick all day mm -hmm. so four points for a boy three points for a girl Woo! it's definitely not number eight <laughs> Uh, Number eight is the ring test, which we're going to do at the end of the video uh -huh. because that's way more exciting. Right. Moving on to number nine. If your partner is gaining weight too, it's a girl. Now, my partner is not gaining any weight, let me tell you. Actually, I'm not even gaining that much weight. I'm actually <laughs> losing weight because I'm throwing up so much, but I'm getting to the gaining weight. Yeah, she's weight gaining it back. Now so I can finally well, that's eat. That's good. Oh. So that equals boy. Mm -hmm. That's five boy three girl and number 10 swollen legs or ankles is a boy now, my legs and ankles are perfectly skinny yeah they're the same so that's a point for the girl <coughs> so five for boy four for girl they're not that maybe off. i do need water Eleven. Clumsiness equals boy. Gracefulness equals girls. Now that's a point for the girl because I really have not been very clumsy. Like haven't fallen over at all. I can stand up pretty fine. Keep balance. I'm actually pretty graceful. If I do say so myself. So that is five for girl, five for boy. We need tied again. Ah! We're tied again. Number 12, your baby's gender is the opposite of the gender you dream about. Now, I've been having some really wacky <laughs> dreams, let me tell you, <laughs> which is a sign of pregnancy because apparently pregnant women have really wacky dreams. I don't know why, but that's apparently a thing. I've heard about that. But the, the thing, I mean, it's not like I dream about people. I dream about a lot of people, but like mm -hmm. the thing that's in it is that significantly girls are the ones that are particularly in my dream. So that would be a point for the boys because it's the opposite of what you dream about. So I dream about girls, this is a boy. I'm gonna put a B in Jeez, we know. Number 13 is headaches equals a boy. None to little headaches equals a girl. So that's a point for a girl because I don't do that. Six and six. Mm -mm. Anyways, number 15, mood equals happy or mellow is boy. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Your mood, so happy or mellow equals a boy or moody equals a girl. And let me tell you, I'd be moody. Mm -hmm. I've been moody yeah, since let me tell pregnant. you, she's a moody woman. Woo! Like, easily irritated like my mood switches like that like do they not spend that much time with you lately mm. so what is that point for that's point for a girl okay so 
Now we're on to seven points for a girl and six for a guy. Boy. <clears throat> six for a boy, seven for a girl. And I'm going to add another point to the boy because <clears throat> I found this thing when I was doing it, looking at Old Wise Tales with my actual partner, with my man. Then it was like a Chinese calendar type thing where it was the month of your, the age you were when you conceived and the month that you conceived in. And then when your fingers match, then like when they touch or whatever, then that equals girl or boy. And that was on a little calendar thing that we did on Google. Ooh. And that was a boy when Ugh. we did that. So, and Tied. I can't really show you guys because I don't have the calendar and all that, but I did do that and that was fun, so. Seven girl, seven boy. And I'm adding that to the list so that it can be tied because that makes it tied because it's way more fun being tied. And then the ring test can untie the tie. Wow. Isn't that fun? Are we done or do you have any more? No, we don't have any more except for the ring test. Oh! Okay, so the ring test is you tie the ring to a string. It's supposed to be your wedding ring, but like I'm not married, so I'm using my grandpa's wedding ring because it's got the lock in it. I mean, it's a ring. Here, you can put that back. I think it's gonna be so exciting when the baby starts kicking, so then you can fill up baby kicks. So cute. Yeah. I have felt the baby kick. I mean, me, you just Bob. can't feel it. Me, Bob. Anyways, you tie the ring to a string. I've been weighing my Actually, whole I don't life think to be an ant. Actually, I don't think this is how you're supposed to tie it. I've been weighing my whole life to be an ant. What, what? And then you drop it down over your stomach, and if it spins in a circle, then it's, I think it's a boy, but let me go back. Because circle means boy, and then if it swings back and forth, it means girls. Boom. Okay. Now this button is right here. You gotta put it no, right no. above. You gotta put the rain right above the belly button. Just right here, which would be right here. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, it's starting to go circle. <laughs> yeah, you're just supposed to hold it above, and then we'll just do this thing. Yeah, I just gotta wait a minute sometimes. So what that is, um, boy, according to my calculation, boy. Even though the video we watched said the circle was a girl, but I don't believe that. Get on this side. <laughs> does it matter? It's a switch. Yes, it does. <laughs> See, then you don't have to. Oh, I think yeah, yeah, that's on top. Also has to be up here. Yeah, right above the belly button. Wait a minute. Don't go. Come on. <laughs> 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 okay, I feel like it's going side oh, to side more yeah, or less. It's going side to side. Which means going side to side. For me it's going side to side more than anything. Like that it will. Now you hold it, Jay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can hold it above your own self. Oh, it's turned a circle. Mm -hmm. We're having twins. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the video said some in like uh, it's better to do it at the scientific results. <laughs> Twenty up. weeks. Up. Yeah, this is a scientific result. So yeah, it's actually better to do it at twenty weeks, and she's almost eighteen. <laughs> Put it, Jay. <laughs> I swear, it's like find oh, out. oh, it's going back and forth now. Actually, when we first started doing it, before we actually looked up how to do it right, it was doing side to side three out of four times, and then it did side to side for you, and then side of side for her, and then side to side for. So actually, yeah, out of like the seven <laughs> times we've done it, it's gone side to side five times and tw circle twice. 
So I say girl. This is my grandpa's ring. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And this lucky one. I quite knows. agree with the... What do you think it is? A bob. A girl. <laughs> so... Okay, I think it's a, saying a girl. So, so far with the thing, we think it's saying girl. But apparently you're supposed to do it at 20 weeks and I'm only 18 weeks. So, in a couple of weeks, we'll do it again before we actually go to... Yeah, because that's only like two weeks before. Right. So, yeah. And I'm going to the ultrasound in four weeks, so it should be fine. We'll do it again and have simply the test to see. But comment down below to see what you think it was doing, circle or side to side. Now, we're, when I looked up the old wives' tale, then it said circle was boy and side to side was girl. But the video we watched, then they said circle was girl and side to side was boy. But I'm going to go by what I... I've up. always, uh, what do you call it? I've always been told that, um, the circle is girl and the side to side was boy, but I don't know. Oh, I guess circle is girl and side to side is boy. Let's just look up Google. But anyways, guys, we will check that out and then, like, officially know what it is when we do it again for the 20 weeks, but... That's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. And yes, my boobs are showing. Shush. <laughs> uh, if you like the video, um, hit that like button. I'll greatly appreciate that. It helps my videos um, a lot. Helps the channel. If you want to follow me on Instagram, link will be in the description. And I will also have a poll on the day that we do the gender reveal on if you think it's a girl or boy, which would be fun as long as people actually do it, which a lot of people usually don't on my Instagram. But yeah, we can always have hope. Bye! Bye.